Hello ProIDNs. This is the first session on Python uh, for the Python series. Uh, today we are going to talk about the agenda that we are going to cover during the Python series. And also we are going to talk about why we need to learn Python. We'll also we'll start with the basic introduction on Python and then we'll talk about why we need to learn Python and we'll do a bit of a trend analysis between Python and the uh, the other top uh, used programming language that is Java. So we're going to talk about uh, the comparative analysis how Python is doing as compared to Java. Yeah. Um, in the coming sessions, we are going to do a lot of uh, practicals. We are going to do a lot of uh, uh, programming. Um, today, uh, we will start with uh, on the basics of uh, Python and. The objective of this series is to start with the basic, end up with the pro. So that's the agenda of, uh, or that's the motive of this particular series. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So let's begin with our series on Python. Yeah. To start with, we are going to touch base on the agenda that we are going to cover for this course. Uh, we are going to start with the brief introduction about Python and why we should be learning uh, Python. And if we are on the right track and if we have made the right decision to learn Python, then we are going to touch base on the keywords and identifiers statements and commands, Python variables, Python data types, Python functions, file handling, object and classes, libraries, etc, etc. So we are going to do a lot of things uh, in covering the Python course for this uh, series. So who this course is for? This course is for who is new to Python, who wants to learn programming and are new to programming who wants to learn programming as a hobby and also for a person who wants to refresh their programming on Python knowledge. Yeah? What are the course requirements? So a person who has a general computer skills such as he is aware of uh, moving or copying or renaming or deleting any files on the computer then he is in the right place. A person who has experience using text editors and or spreadsheet applications then he is in the right place. A person who is comfortable using web browsers and search engines then this is the place to be. And most importantly if a person is having a will to learn Python then this is the best place to be. So before we touch base on uh, the brief introduction about Python. Uh, now let's give a moment and let's see how much uh, programming uh, is helping us uh, in our day-to-day -day life. Okay. Now let's take an example of your mobile phone. Yeah. Everyone is using touch-based uh, mobile phone nowadays. Yeah. So what happens when you swipe your finger on your mobile screen? It goes to the next screen, right? Okay. So programming language is the backbone of the programming language is input and then corresponding output. So when we took the example of a mobile phone, right, when we were swiping our finger on a mobile phone, so the input of that application was the swipe of the finger and the output was the corresponding action that is moving to the next screen. Now let's take another example. You're watching a movie, right? Okay. Now, if you, if you want to stop a movie, what you do? You click a stop button on your remote and then the movie stops, right? So here, the stop action actually functions as an input. And when the movie stops, right? The movie stops displaying on the TV screen. That is the output of that function. So that is the core of your programming language. And that's how 
programming is helping us in our day-to-day life. That should make you feel more interested in uh, coming or learning to programming language. Now, why do we need to learn Python? Yeah, because Python is free and open source. That is, you can freely use and distribute Python even for commercial use. So you can download it, install it on any anywhere, and it's free to use. Yeah. Secondly, it's very easy to learn. So Python has a very simple and elegant syntax. It's much easier to read and write pro Python programs compared to any other language like C, C++, Java. Okay. It becomes very simple for a programmer to write the codes as well as to programmer to understand the codes. Yeah. And it makes very uh, easy to make any corrections if required. Yeah. Thirdly, Python is portable. So that means you can move Python programs from one platform to another and run it without any changes. Okay. So what does that mean? So you, you, I mean, you can code, you can write your codes on a Linux platform. Okay. Save the file in a Python format. Move, uh, copy that file to a Windows platform. Run that Python program on the Windows platform. It will give you the same output. That is how Python is. Python is platform agnostic. So it is, you write the code anywhere and you can run the code anywhere. So it is, it is not dependent on any platform. That's the beauty of Python. Now, why do we need to learn Python? Firstly, Python is easy to learn. Its syntax is easy and code is very readable. Python has a lot of applications. It's used for developing web-based applications, used in data science fields, used for rapid application de deployment, uh, such as uh, uh, in the fields of Docker, DevOps. It can be used in the machine learning and it is also used in the AI, that is artificial intelligence. So it has a lot of applicability in a lot of areas. Python allows you to write programs in fewer lines of codes than most of the pro programming languages. Uh, we'll see all this in detail in our coming sessions. But uh, for now, you trust me that Python is very easy to write as compared to any other language. The popularity of, because of all these reasons, the popularity of Python is growing rapidly. Now, it's one of the most popular programming language or it's the most upcoming language uh, I would say as compared to any other language yeah how let's move to the next screen and see the comparative analysis yeah so here we are doing the comparative analysis between Python and Java yeah and you can see uh, the red line indicates Java and th this is the the worldwide five years analysis right as you can see the uh, Interest in Java is dipping over the time, whereas interest in Python is coming up. Yeah, and very, very near future, we are going to see that Python will overtake uh, Java. So, the all these why it's happening is because Python is, as we discussed, Python is very easy to write and um, read. It's very, uh, very simple uh, learning language. And Python has a lot of applicability in a lot of fields. Yeah. So you are in the right track and you have, uh, I think you should be happy that you've made a right decision of learning Python. So coming next. So what are we expecting in the next session? Yeah. So in the next session, we are going to look at installing Python and writing a first code on Windows as well as Linux machine. Okay, uh, there are some secrets which I don't want to uh, disclose in the, now. We will see. I mean, uh, in that uh, some of the secrets when we uh, move into the next session. Okay, so stay tuned um, and keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.